Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's another week in my life in New York City. I'm so excited. I had my grandparents in town this past weekend. Last week was so crazy. Like honestly, just life was crazy. So I'm really happy to sit down and vlog for you guys. And just sit down. No, we're gonna be standing up. We're gonna be dancing. We're gonna be walking. There's lots to do this week. I'm putting up my Christmas tree tonight, so I'm really excited to vlog about that. I just finished getting ready to record for Cows on the Go. I've got our merch on right now. Um, I need to change because I'm about to go actually record podcast with Brooke. But um, I did want to thank this video sponsor, which is Ritual. I was just taking it as you guys saw in my little morning montage this morning. You guys know I am a huge fan of vitamins. I think it's such an easy part to add into. Your routine every single day when you wake up when you go to bed like whatever you prefer I just it makes me feel so good I always say this but it makes me feel so good to put good into my body I just like have like you guys know I deal with health anxiety and just by taking something like this I'm just like oh I'm doing something good for my body and something my gynecologist was telling me she was like you need to be taking like a woman's multivitamin and I was like yes you're on it ritual they have an essential for women 18 and up this is a multivitamin, but it's truly something very unique because they try to fill in your nutrient kind of gaps with this vitamin. So there's a lot of different things in the multivitamin that it's just so easy. So there's things like vitamin K2, vitamin D3, vitamin B12, magnesium, a lot of different things. You guys can look up more and I'll have a link down below, but it just truly fills in a lot of nutrient gaps. Like if you're not eating everything that you should be, whatever it may be, this is kind of helping fill that gap of giving you those nutrients that you might get otherwise. And also on that note, no matter how balanced your diet is, it's sometimes really hard to just still get all those nutrients that your body is craving. So that's also why I really love taking this ritual. I take two every single day and they're also so gorgeous. I can't even explain to you guys. They're the most stunning little vitamin ever i also want to highlight the symbiotic which has a prebiotic probiotic and a postbiotic which is seriously unreal they're the most cool looking capsules as well i love these you just take one every single day it's never too late to support your gut come on this formula is also shelf stable so you can keep it you know room temperature you don't have to worry about putting it in the fridge because i know sometimes if i put the probiotics and the symbiotics and the postbiotics in the fridge then I forgot about them, so this just makes it easy to put with all of your other little capsules here. So, with that, I feel like Black Friday and Cyber Monday are a great reason to support your gut. Like, let's just get your gut on track, and I feel like sometimes I have like a little guilt when I'm shopping, but I wouldn't have guilt if I know I'm, first of all, getting a deal, and second of all, I'm doing something good for my body, like I say. So, if you guys want to get 40% off Ritual, all you have to do is when you're adding you know, your multivitamins to your cart, your essential for women right here, you will also add the Symbiotic Plus and that'll automatically give you the 40% off your total. So yeah, get shopping, happy Cyber Monday and Black Friday. I'll have a link below to check out Ritual. I wouldn't tell you guys about this if I didn't believe in it. I think it's such an amazing product. I think everyone should be taking something like this every single day and it will just make you feel so good. Like it makes me feel good, so yeah. I am going to get changed now. I'm, I think I'm going to do, it's actually really sad. I can't even talk about it. Today is the last day we're recording in the Gals on the Go studio. I don't even know if we've talked about this, but we decided to end the lease or not renew it, I guess. It's, it's about to be up because we just don't love the lighting in the studio. If you guys don't know, we have like a WeWork situation right now and we love it. We love the purple wall and everything, but the lighting is very harsh and I don't know, sometimes we feel like it makes it less, I don't know, the reason we started the podcast was to be very like relaxed and casual and off the cuff and funny and not that we feel like we're really held back in the studio, but sometimes it's just, I think it would be better if we're still gonna film it, but we're gonna be doing it at one of our apartments instead, just like a more of a cozy aspect, natural lighting instead, which more of our aesthetic anyways. Um, so we're gonna give it a go. We're definitely gonna miss, I'm gonna really miss going to the studio. Um, and again, today is our last day recording in the studio, which is really sad, but yeah, you know, there's always time for change and now is time for change. In honor of it being the last episode though, I think I'm gonna put on this like bright pink Gals in the Go, Gals in the Go sweater. That's what I'm wearing right now. Also shop our merch on Fanjoy, Gals in the Go. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wear some bright pink, some Gals in the Go pink in honor. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to the studio. All right, gonna head there now. It's cold. Yes, two days ago, I was wearing a short sleeve shirt. I was in <clears throat> it was 70 degrees. 
today it's 40 degrees so i'm gonna grab my coat in the coat closet but this is my outfit super quick turtleneck is top shop leggings are spanx and boots are steve madden let's go record hello lighting We're, we both like had the same idea today I the, the, the sweaters one last hurrah i know i was telling them this morning about it i told them the news broke the news broke the news but we're not gonna stop videoing no it's no. gonna honestly be more of our vibe our aesthetic we can be cozy whatever like yeah. this space also just it's it's very corporate like it doesn't fit the gals people just you know? walk by and see us all the time yeah, or they stop in like we'll be recording Lots and they'll pop stop in. in which is very nice yes but we we also chose an office space that has open windows. It's completely open. Concept. And we were the first yeah. in the corner. Like when you first walk down the hall, it's ours. So there, it's just like a conversation piece. And I which get is it. Fun. I, I might be curious too. Oh, like, I, I definitely saw this, be curious. I would be like, what is that? Yeah. So um, yeah, we're gonna do a Thanksgiving episode today. Very excited. We have. I think we've done them the last two years. I feel like it's a, it's a wholesome. It's like the, uh, yeah, exactly. It's like the, the, annual, go, the <laughs> annual Thanksgiving. It's like the, the Gossip Girl Thanksgiving episode. That's what I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah. What you say? Oh god, the oh, drama. The, I love the, the TikTok drama. renditions that people do. Of that, oh way, yeah, the, like, ooh, what you brings say? Up, like, <laughs> they like slow motion. Yeah. We should title this episode like Gals Giving. Oh my god, I love it's it. It's giving gals. It's giving gals. <laughs> it's giving thanks. It's giving thanks. All right, we're gonna record now, woo! Recording went well. Oh, the sun looks so nice. Um, I am walking with Brooke right now. I'm stopping at Mickey. I'm getting my nails done. I'm gonna do a red for the holidays. I'm allowed to since Brooke's not doing red. Show them your nails, they look so cool. I'm kidding, by the way, also. People think that I'm like a big bully, but I'm, I'm really not. It's tortoise. Tortoise, you so can get pretty. This next. I'll get it next. <laughs> um, yeah, we're walking through Nolita. I love Nolita. So cute. I just came to Mickey and look who's here in the hot seat. It's Kat. I love this. We're having a little moment. Kat's getting a little brown, kind of like mine. And she just had red and I'm getting red now. Flipping the switch, I love it. Yay. Hi guys, it's a lot later now. Brooke and I recorded the podcast, and then from there, I walked over to Mickey. I just did, like, a red nail situation, and then I actually went back to my old apartment again. It's my second time because brands are still um, sending things so graciously, uh, but to my last apartment. So one of my neighbors has been so nice and, like, collecting stuff for me, so I always go, and then I take some things, and I'm like, here's a ton of stuff as a thank you for, like, holding this for me. She 100% does not have to. I do not ask her to, but it's so nice of her and some really cool brands sent me some stuff. So I went over there to grab that. Now I'm back, I've been back for about two hours and doing some laundry this morning. I spilled coffee on my comforter, or on my couch. So I had to like pop that in. So I'm washing, I'm drying it now. And I, I let it air dry, but it's still a little damp and I'm like ready to put it back on. So I'm just drying it for a little bit in the dryer. It feels so much later than it is, but it's like 6.30. I just got so many emails done knocked it out got a ton of work done i've just been sitting at my computer for the last hour probably hour and a half um and there's still more to be done but i just kind of needed to take a break and do something else i just talked to ryan on the phone he's gonna come over tonight and a lot of changes are gonna happen around here i've decided i'm gonna move my table back over here it was nice in the corner aesthetics wise but functionality wise it's really annoying. I have to like kind of like get in over there. I don't like bringing my food on it. Small complaints, but like I like the mirror in the corner. I think it just opens up the space, everything. And I also want to put my Christmas tree in that corner um, with the mirror. Um, so yeah, Ryan's gonna come over and help me with all of that and put the tree up. We've like done it. We did it last year together too. Like I have like a fake tree. I used it last year. It's a super tall, skinny one. I'll link it down below for you guys. It's from Michael's. It's amazing, and uh, I got it because my friend Sarah has it, and it's amazing. It's great for small places, but it's really tall, and it looks good, and I have ornaments that I'm gonna pull down, and I just started listening to Christmas music. I've only been listening to like some instrumental stuff while I was doing work. I was like, let me just get in the mood a little bit. So I was listening to cozy Christmas jazz on Spotify. I'm gonna put the Yule log on the TV and have like a whole little Christmassy night. Um, 
and yeah, it's really special to do it with Ryan. Even though it's not like our apartment, it's really nice to do it with him because I'm pretty sure he's not gonna put up a tree, so it's nice to do it together. And it's just, I'm really thankful to have him here. So that's what's up. Got the Yola going, just showered. And I forgot I had these PJs. Face Gym sent this really cute PR package with this Cosa Bella pajama set. And it literally says Danielle and it's red. And I wanted to like get in the mood um, for the holidays. So I put this on, got my slippers that Kelly got me for my birthday. They're from the brand MOU. And they're so comfortable and I can't stop wearing them. But we are gonna get to cooking, my friends. Ryan will be here soon. I've kind of got like my chicken and vegetables cooking situation pretty down pat at this point. The Our Place Always pan will always be my favorite pan. It's the only one I ever want to use. Like when I travel, I go somewhere else and I'm using someone else's pans. I'm like, ugh, the Always pan. It's just like so amazing and nonstick. And I have two of them actually. So I will use one to cook the chicken, one to cook the vegetables. And then I'm gonna get the pot of rice boiling here. Pretty standard. I'm gonna do a cup of rice. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, for Katie's birthday, Brooke and I took her to a paint and pour class, and it was like a city scape. This was my rendition, but I added a little taxi too. I'm not very artistic, clearly. Um. Let's get cooking. I'm gonna, should I play some Christmas music? I think I should. I think I should. Yeah, you're Fred, Freddie. Ryan was like, we should put some like packages. <laughs> some packages they got in the mail or something. It definitely looks a little. I don't like how you could see the cord. Solution put the lanterns here, duh. Covers the outlet and it looks so cozy. Guys, we're done. It looks so good. Hopefully, people can see my tree in the window and make it happy. I know I still need to definitely. Wow, we did not spread the bottom out very well at all. At all. Oh my god. But. You guys get the idea. So happy to have this up. I wanted to get it up because I go home on Friday and then I'll get back and I'll have like two weeks here and then it's like back home. So wanna enjoy it while I can. And it's about to get crazy with the gals and the go live show and stuff. So yeah, and this was like a lovely night. Yay, and the table's back to where it belongs. All right, Ryan just left and I was about to sit and watch another episode of White Lotus, but I wanna self tan. Wish me luck. I'm using the Isle of Paradise Dark Self Tanning Mousse. Um, Brooke said that's what she's been using lately. And I also have mint. And then I have this that I love from Isle of Paradise. You can like 
rub in like on your elbows and sh shoulders, elbows and like right here, you know, like this area just to kind of blend it out. So I'm gonna attempt to do this, wish me luck. Just finished and it's so cold and I'm standing here trying to let it dry. So I'm using my air blow dryer. Gotta take care of my orchids here. I'm so proud of myself. It's my one plant that I have in here and I just put a couple ice cubes in every few days. And I think it looks so good and it kind of helps with the table here. I am so happy. I'm just so happy. It's so much easier for me to sit here and the tree looks so good in the corner. I decided I'll keep the mirror here until after the holidays. I feel like that makes sense because the tree would have been really crowded over there. It just looks so happy and cozy. I've got my LaCroix and water there. I'm going to play in the next episode of White Lotus and relax and I'll see you guys in the morning. morning and I did some emails and work and then I just got ready actually I'm literally about to get unready but I got ready because I wanted to film my annual Christmas wish list video I do it every year this year or I think I did this last year too it's like things I would like to receive but also some things that I already have that I feel like you guys would love so I'm just putting my tripod over here for now um, I am still wearing my PJs. I haven't even showered. Like, I literally just put on makeup because I was like, I just want to film this right now. I've been listening to Christmas jazz this morning, and it's been a vibe, and I had this lovely setup for my wish list video. Um, so yeah. Today, today, today. What are we doing today? I'm gonna shower now, wash my face and everything because... I'm getting a lash lift in tint and you can't like have mascara on and I fully have mascara on right now. Um, yeah, that's the first step. But actually, first step is I have to upload these clips immediately and edit this because I want this video to go up tomorrow. So, hi friends. So I just showered, I filmed, or I did the video, I edited it. Here's my outfit. I'm going to get a lash lift in tint with Beauty by Mishy Lee. She's so good. My lashes are overdue for a lash lift. I can't wait to not wear mascara. Wearing the new bar, this is her new colorway for the bar sweatshirt. I'm obsessed, like, we'll be wearing this all the time. Leggings are story, wearing these platform Uggs with the zipper, some set active socks, and it's 44 degrees outside, so gonna add a jacket on the way out, but here's a little before. I'm so excited to do this well. Back now. My lashes look so good. I will not be wearing mascara later. Currently cooking a little bit more chicken because I have one leftover bowl from last night's dinner. Stir fry and rice, but I just had no more chicken, so I'm just cooking another piece of chicken until I lay right on top. This will be my little lunch. Ta-da! It looks so good. And I'm just going to sit right and eat my food. Love it. Just finished, and I cut up a red delicious apple as like a little dessert, a little aperitif, if you will. <clears throat> is that what that is? Aperitif? Appetizer, aperitif? I don't know. You guys will let me know. Um, I usually just like eat it as an apple, but I cut it up the other day and it kind of hit different. So we're doing that. I'm going to finish um, doing some work. Then we're going to get ready because we have events tonight. Oh, it's so cozy in here. The vibes are right. Hello, guys. So it's a little bit later now. I ate. I finished my work. Submitted some stuff and did the dishes. I feel like I'm always cleaning my kitchen because they have like super white counters. Um, and I was just like unloading the dishwasher, reloading the dishwasher. Cooking is awesome, but you know, it makes you have to clean more. But we love it. Um, I'm doing my makeup now. We're going to two events tonight. I'm really excited because I have a really cute outfit that I want to wear. And my lashes are popping, so... And I feel like I haven't like gotten super dressed up in a minute, so 
Um, also, my self tan did really well. I, if I think about it tonight when I get back, I feel like I might do another coat, if you will. Tonight, I'm stopping at Dante in the West Village because Stony Clover is doing a collaboration with Juicy Couture and they're having an event and I love Sony Clover so much, you guys know. Um, a big fan of their bags, their pouches, everything in between. So I wanna support, um, so I'm gonna go to that first. I know a lot of people that are going to that and then from there, I got invited, I don't know how or why, to a Mugler event. Freaking out. And Brooke and I were literally just talking about Mugler on the podcast yesterday, which is so crazy. Um, but they're about to open an exhibit at the Brooklyn Museum. I'm sure similar to the Dior exhibit that was there a while back that I also went to. Um, but tonight's the opening for it. And I was like, you know, I'm already going to be dressed up for it. And I'm so honored. Like, I'm trying to get more into the fashion world of it all. And I feel like this makes sense. My friends Remy and Serena are going as well, um, so I'll know them. And yeah, I think it'll be a special night. I'm not trying to stay out too late. It's in Brooklyn, so it's a bit of a hike, but um, someone from my team is gonna come with me to the Mugler event as well, so hopefully I'll get a cute picture. I'm wearing this like all brown outfit that Danny and Allie lent to me when I used them as stylists for when I hosted the red carpet last week, that this was one of the outfits that they lent me, or this one of the outfits that I tried on and I loved it, but it just like wasn't red carpet enough. And I ended up going with this red number, if you guys go look on Instagram, it's amazing. Anyways, they like had a messenger bring the outfit to me once they like steamed it and it was ready for the event. And they put in the brown outfit too. They were like, no, no charge or anything. like. We know you loved it, whatever. You can wear it to an event or something. So I was like, oh my god. So I get to wear it tonight. I'm really excited. It's nothing like crazy. It's just like an all brown corset baggy pant blazer moment. Very uh, Hilly Bieber. And what was I going to say? I also wanted to remind you guys, if you didn't know, my last video, I did a Dyson Airwrap giveaway. I It's literally in my hallway right now. I bought it before I did the giveaway just in case it sold out before. Like, I just don't want to. I was like, wow, it's actually in stock. So, all you have to do is go follow me on TikTok, at Danielle underscore Carolyn. And comment on the TikTok of me and Ryan putting up the Christmas tree in my apartment. And comment your favorite thing about the holidays so I know you entered. And the giveaway will close Monday, December 12th. And if you win, I will follow you on TikTok so I can DM you and get your address and info and I will send it to you personally because I already have it here. Anyways, I'm going to keep getting ready listening to Drake album and I'll show you guys fit when it's, when it's, when it's on. Okay, here is the fit. Here is the look. I love it. This top and the pants are from House of CB. I, they always like sell things in very limited quantities I feel like so like I literally want to buy this I love this corset top I'm a size small on the corsets size medium in their pants they have like pockets it's fun I'm just wearing some random boots and then this blazer is by boss and then I didn't wear eye makeup because I probably definitely should have but you're not supposed to get your, like, eyes wet for two days. I guess I could add a little bronzer and just use a makeup wipe after your lash lift and tint. And I don't really want to mess with it. But also, I know I'm going to be taking pictures tonight. Well, I think I am. So maybe we'll just do a little, a little brown in the crease. But, like, I'm not wearing mascara or anything. Just to add a little definition, but I'm excited. I just looked at Stony Clover's Instagram story, and it looks like they it, the event just looks so cute. It's technically Y2K themed, but since I'm going to Mugler after, I was like, oh, I'm gonna not, and I didn't really have anything to wear for Y2K, so hopefully that's okay. I hate not being in theme. I'm always the person to like dress in theme. I actually think it's quite lame to be like, I'm not doing the theme. But I have like a reason for it, so hopefully, hopefully I'll still be accepted. 
All right, that should do. So here is the look in the mirror. I like don't know if I should like do that. I feel like not. I guess that's kind of the moment. Everyday jewels and everyday lip. I need to turn off my TV. It's cold and rainy outside. I would normally walk right now to this event, but it's cold and rainy. And I don't really want to wear a second jacket because I hate being at events and like hold, I don't know. Like I just don't want to deal with it. So I'm just gonna go like this when I'm walking into the event. At least this outfit includes a blazer. So if I wasn't wearing this outfit, I'd probably wear something else that included like a leather jacket or a blazer, but this is the fit tonight. I really, really like it. I'm using this bag from Bob or Collection because it can fit my umbrella too, which is huge. So I'm gonna head over it now. I might eat a banana because I ate like that late lunch, obviously, but you j oh my god, this is the tiniest banana. So little. Oh my god. Because you just never know what food's gonna be where, and I like to be prepared. you guys Sony Clover event was so much fun hold up I got a little goodie bag I had to carry it around this whole night I was like bumping into people but I was like this is worth it they were giving out different pieces from the collection so it's Sony Clover collaborated with Juicy Couture so this says for nice girls who like stuff yeah who like stuff Gotta love, just there's always reasons to have pouches, you know? And then I really like this one. I love a clear pouch. I like being able to see in just classic Juicy Couture, but it's got like this fun little um, velvety feel. Is that what I'm trying to say? You know, velour, velour. It's like the classic velour, whatever. So I got these. They also had a really cute duffel bag that Brooke and Katie got, but I was like, I don't have room for this. Like, I don't. So. I was trying to be responsible. I'm I'm fangirling. I'm fangirling. The Mugler event was absolutely stunning. It's uh, gonna be available to the public, I assume, very soon. Because tonight was like the opening night, so they had like live models and stuff. It was very like industry. I feel like I was the only influencer there. I mean, I'm sure there were other ones there. All right, I ended up seeing my friend Valentina at the very end and my friend Rish, but other than that, like really barely saw anyone. And it was like all, I don't even know. This is me not like anything I'm talking about, but like high fashion vibes. Like everyone was like dressed like they're at the Met Gala. It was so sick. I now want everything Mugler. I'm very influenced. I love the style of like their structured blazers with the cool cutout leggings. Very cool. Oh my God. I haven't had, I haven't peed since I left. And I think that's because I didn't drink anything. Well, I had like a sparkling water very briefly at the event. Cause I was like, I need something. Oh my gosh, it's about to hit so different. Mm. Anyways, so I was just taking a photo, just like this, and then this guy is like, excuse me, excuse me, and I was like, what are you doing? Like, I'm taking a photo. And then I bump into someone, I look up Kylie Jenner. Literally, Kylie Jenner. I had no idea she was there. I like didn't even register that at first, and I was with my friend, and I go, is that Kylie Jenner? And she goes, no. And she goes, wait, yes. Like, I've just never, I've seen Kourtney Kardashian in person before, but my goal in life is to like see all the Kardashians in person because I'm obsessed. And she is just beautiful, and so graceful, and she was just so like calm. She, they basically just had her like walking around the exhibit, and I heard her say like, "Yeah, add this to my archive. Like, I want to wear that." And I was like, "I am hearing all these things." And then I've like, we went somewhere else, and her bodyguard said to me, "I really like your outfit, by the way." It's not even her that said it. If she told me she liked my outfit, the whole world would know by now. But yeah, 
they, that was really, really cool. Um, I'm really happy I went to the event and I got to see Kylie Jenner. So that was really cool. I mean, like, I literally touched her. So, um, a fabulous evening. I am tired. Social battery is low. But, yeah, I'm going to get unready and watch a little bit of The Hills. I started The Hills this weekend and it's quite good. It's just some good old reality TV, and I'm into it. It's just, like, good, lighthearted. I can, like, have it on and do stuff in my room, whatever. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm in a fabulous mood. I am in a fabulous mood. And really nothing can break it. Hopefully. Um, I woke up to my hatch alarm, which just changes everything. Like, I need to be better about using it every morning rather than just setting my phone alarm. It's just way more relaxing. Oh, my God. Ryan's calling me. Hello? Morning. Good morning, what's up? Just giving you a call. Oh, thanks for giving me a call. <laughs> yeah, what are you up to? I just ordered myself some Cheerios and milk. <laughs> nice. Get back to the basics, why not? Back to the basics, and I have a lamp being delivered in about now, between now and 12. A new lamp for my couch. It's really cool. Hi. And I am gonna film some Thanksgiving outfit ideas. And then, yeah, we have dinner tonight. <laughs> this is everything I was gonna tell you guys, but now I'm just gonna tell Ryan on the phone. I muted him. How's your morning going? Good. Woke up um, at 8 30. Ooh. But, uh, like, Okay, so I pretty much just told Ryan everything I wanted to tell you guys, but um, yeah, I'm kind of waiting around this morning because I'm having a lamp be delivered that's gonna like be over my couch. I don't know what came over me, but I am like so hungry and I love my avocado and eggs, but I think I'm like, I hope I'm not getting tired of them, but I just like don't feel like having them right now. And when I was ordering more toilet paper and like I got like Clorox wipes and stuff, I saw Cheerios and something in me said get the Cheerios and I'm just in a good mood because um, we posted our like annual Thanksgiving episode of Gals on the Go today and so many people are just loving it and people are like I always look forward to these Thanksgiving episodes just like I look forward to the Gossip Girl Thanksgiving episode and I was like that is amazing. I just love Gals on the Go. It's our baby, and I mean, it's not even a baby anymore. We've been doing it for seven or seven years. My okay, four years, four plus years. But yeah, we're gonna dive into these Cheerios. I deserve it. I want Cheerios right now. I'm excited. My lamp is here. You guys are gonna die. It's gonna go right there. Oh my gosh, it literally looks so good. It's like dark over here right now. Hold on, the lighting is weird. It looks so good. I will link this lamp down below. Just remind me if I don't. It's from Anthropology. It's beautiful. Oh my god, you literally can't see it because of the lighting right now. But it's this beautiful, okay, there, it's better. This beautiful light brown color with this like brassy situation. This is a little annoying because it's in the mirror. I think, oh, well, I'm moving the mirror back to the corner, I think. Actually, I know for a fact I'm moving the mirror back to the corner um, when Christmas is over, so that won't be a problem. But for now, there's just going to be this in the mirror. So, yeah, I am obsessed. I'm actually thinking about moving this back to the other side of the couch because um, I think I like that corner better. And now that that's here, I don't know. What do you guys think? I know you'll tell me. <laughs> But, um, yeah. But, yeah, this lamp is Anthropology. I love it. I think it fully, like, does a really good job of breaking up the room. It'll look better once the mirror's not there. Breaking up the, the living room from the kitchen. I think it looks so good. It's such a vibe. Guys, I'm going to... I'm literally going to cry right now. Two sleeps until I see Finley. Altered State just sent me a really cute package for the holidays. I love going to the store. It always smells so good. Literally, when Brooke and I were at American Dream the other day, I was like, we have to go in. And they sent me this ornament that literally looks like Finley. And I love it because for my tree, I wanted to do, like, all the gold ornaments and then a couple accent ones. Like, my mirror, the New York City, um, and then this one my mom gave me. I want to get a taxi really bad. But then I have Finley. I'm going to cry. Thank you. I just showered. I moisturized, did all the things, brushed my teeth. 
It's almost two o'clock, which means it is almost time for the Taylor Swift Capital One pre-sale. Me, Katie, and Brooke, all three wanna go together. We thought that would be really, really fun um, to the Taylor Swift concert in New Jersey um, next May. Like, it's literally not even for a while. It's so crazy, like, I feel like this is the first time not the first time, but I feel like it's just so hard to get these tickets and I feel like social media has a lot to do with that Because like last time I went to Taylor Swift's concert I was able to get tickets so easily, you know, it was like, oh, she's coming like let me you know Like it wasn't as like, oh my god, so Crazy. I'm really happy for her. She deserves all the success I'm so excited. So um, Brooke is with her mom. Her mom's in town for a meeting today So Katie and I are both gonna simultaneously do it and like keep in contact so I, my alarm just went off and I'm gonna go like sit at the computer and just be ready. I'm nervous. Also this robe is from Two Collective. My friend Alexis Barber started her own robe company and it's so soft and lovely and wonderful. And on the inside of the pocket it says, you're too smart to not love yourself. I think that's a great added touch. It's a nice little reminder, I just, well, self care, so cute. Okay, every minute that I'm sitting here is every minute I could be at my computer waiting. So let's go. Please send prayers. Oh my gosh. I'm in the quo, the queue, whatever you want to call it. Ugh, I hope it moves. Okay, it's been almost two hours and I'm still waiting in that same quo, queue, queue. I don't know why I keep saying the quo. Um, so I was texting with Brooke and Katie. Casey, Katie is also in it. Um, but it simply hasn't moved and I have plans with Kelly at four and I was like, if you guys want, I will literally sit in there like, don't even worry. Like, I'm just gonna leave it open and if it's, I, I feel like it's just gonna stay like this and I don't wanna like, I haven't been outside today. So I'm gonna run some errands with Kelly. We both had to run errands and wanna go shopping. So we're gonna go do it together. Here is the fit. I'm wearing this Uniqlo super like warm thermal long sleeve. This flannel is from Revolve, I think it's Rails. Jeans are AG jeans, and then I just got these Converse. That they're so comfy, they're brown. And then I have my O-Kind tote. Let's go run some errands. Let's go outside. I just need to go outside. Wait, this goes with your whole little fit right here. You're with Kelly. Wait, you can literally, you could wear it out. <laughs> they could cut off the tag. That's perfect. It matches your shoes. It ties it all in. I'm gonna get makeup on and I can see it. Update. This is what happens when we go shopping together. We influence each other. I'm excited about all the things. Haul when I get home. No piece of clothing. So things took a turn and I found a ton of amazing warm weather essentials. I need to remember when I go shopping with Kelly, you know you have those friends that will like go shopping with you and then they just like look around. I do that sometimes too, but today we were both like in shopping mode and we both like inspired each other. But I got some great stuff for Maine next week and I'm feeling good. So I'll do a haul in a second. Also, I just realized, I don't even know, did I say it in this vlog? Forgive me if I did. I know I said it on the podcast, so again, if you don't listen to Gals on the Go, you should, but I'm going home this Friday to Tampa until Wednesday, and then on Wednesday I'm flying to Maine to be with Ryan and his family, because um, his grandma like just moved to Maine, and we're doing Thanksgiving there. Everyone's like, oh, you're going to Maine? You gotta bundle up, and I was like, <sighs> and I like have some warm things, but I found a couple just good basics today, like Zara, I went to H&M, Aritzia, and Free People, and uh, yeah, I should just do a haul right now because the lighting is way better over here. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the bags over here. All right, it's time for a good old fashioned haul from, I was gonna say from the mall, not the mall. So first we went to H&M, and I just love this blue color. I think it's fabulous, and this is so perfect to travel in. This was. I was gonna say, no, it was not in the men's section. This was a women's blue hoodie, and I love how it's zip because you can like wear a tank, and if you wanna take it off, you don't have to like pull it over your head. I do love a hoodie too, but I just liked how this was a zip. I got a size medium, and then I got the matching pants, and these are cool because they're just like a straight leg, semi flare um, moment, and this is so perfect for all the travel I've coming up, and just like lounging around and then I just whenever I can I just always try to buy more socks so I just bought oops, more like crew socks because they just get dirty like white stuff just gets dirty um Zara found some really cute stuff I'm sorry this is not a try on I like have to get ready again for dinner right after this because Ryan and I are going on a date um I kind of forgot oh I got another sweat set hee <laughs> hee because this one was just so cute and I'm gonna make this like my spray tan self tan sweat sex It's gray and just like to wear for travel and leisure 
It's this crop gray hoodie. I love it because it's like a little slouchy on the top and a zip. And then I loved the sweatpants because they're just like, you know, sweatpants. But then look, they're like this cool elastic moment. There's a pocket. It's just like a little bit more elevated, you know? I think this you could not necessarily dress it up. I mean, kind of though. Like wear like a cool jacket with it to run errand. I don't know. I thought it was cute. Then I got, what else? I have these pants in the cream color. I don't know if I've shown them in a vlog before and I love how they fit. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy them in black because I love them so much. They're just kind of like that parachute pant vibe, but they're a little bit extra tapered because you can control it with the drawstring here. And I just like love them. It's such a sporty look. Like I kind of want to wear this like a black bralette and a blazer and like heels to dress it up. Or you could wear it with sneakers and like a long sleeve. It's a vibe. <laughs> Ryan always texts me and says, what should I wear? Whenever we do stuff. It's very cute. Um, then I bought, these are some of my favorite long sleeves. Um, I got them in a size medium. I got these last winter. Wore them all the time, but then the smalls like shrank and I was like, let me just get a medium. Cause I like have bigger boobs than I think sometimes, I think. Um, this is a gray color. I thought this would look really good with the black pants and it's really soft and it's cropped. It's like the perfect crop though. And they're all $19 each. And then I got like an ivory color. Can never have enough basics. I'm just, cause then you like, especially like this, I wore this today. And since it's like a, t I don't know why, but like tighter tops, I like always wash after wearing. But like if it's like a looser blouse, I might not wash it after wearing. Is anyone else like that? And then I got black. Great basics, they have them at every Zara I've ever been to. They always have a rack of the long sleeves, just gotta look out for them. And then lastly from Zara, I really hope, I didn't try it on so I'll return if I don't like it. This could be a potential Thanksgiving outfit. I think this is so cute and just for life in general. It's this, it's like a greenish gray. I think it's got a, like a little green. It's um, sleeveless so I would need to wear a jacket um, but could be good with a blazer as well. It's this sleeveless like knit sweater top and then a midi skirt. This together, I can either do a front tuck or I've been into belts again. I'm like in my belts era to wear the belt over top and then like cinch it a little bit and pull it up. We'll see, but like with black boots or I have like cream boots and there's a nice little slit in the back so you're not, you know, you're able to walk, you're not waddling. I love it. I'm so excited about these purchases. Okay, from Free People, I love their bags so much. I have shit everywhere. I just got two things at Free People. One, I got this, oh, please don't, they just threw it in there? No. Usually they like wrap it up or something. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm gonna be able to get this untangled. Yeah, I definitely will. But just take a look, it's like this bolo necklace. I'm going to a Friendsgiving event tomorrow night for Free People. And the outfit that I like picked out from them, it just needed like something else and I wanna make sure I'm like decked out in Free People cause I'm like so thankful. So I bought this necklace. This is not gonna look like this, but it's like a bolo necklace. The outfit I'm wearing is kind of Western. Oh my God, my camera's about to die. This I'm really excited about. It is a denim jumpsuit. My friend wore one in Nashville and it looked so cute on her. She got hers at Mango, but I saw this at Free People and I think it'd be really cute tucked into like some taller boots. Hear me out. It's short sleeve and so cute. And you can button it up more. So hopefully that works out. Lastly, Bigger purchase of the day. I knew I was gonna do this though. Um, I went to Aritzia and I bought a new Super Puff jacket. Ah. I bought the long one. I've only ever had the short Super Puff, but I got this like beautiful white ivory cream color. I got a size medium. I love it, it's gonna keep me warm. I just already have like a ton of black ones and I want some for like my lighter outfits. I'm into this like winter whites moment, winter creams, whatever you want to call it. I got the Molina pants in this beautiful ivory color. They're just like straight leg. And then I thought it would look really cute paired with this top. I'm trying to go really fast because the battery's about to die. This is the front. It's like a ribbed turtleneck and then it ties in the back and shows your bum. So love it. At least I think that's the back. Yeah. So really cute. I thought that would be really cute with this and then paired with the puffer when I'm cold, you know? Oh, okay, I did it. I'm gonna charge my camera up, but we're gonna get ready for dinner now. Ah! Okay, we are getting ready to... Wait, you guys can't even see my outfit. Actually, I'm kind of proud of it. I pulled it together real fast. I wanna be warm, but like cute. Ryan and I are going to Lola Taverna tonight for dinner. We actually haven't done a dinner date in a minute, so I'm really excited. So this sweater, 
I've had it for like a couple years now. It's amazing. I think they actually still sell it on Revolve, and if they do, I'll link it below. It is perfect. I love it, but it's comfortable and comfy, and that's what I already said, and warm is what I'm trying to say. These pants are from Julia Haven's Windsor collection. I love them. I love the amount of bagginess they are, but they're still high-waisted. Like I said, I'm into belts. This is from Revolve. I'll link it below. Then I'm just wearing some black like sock boots from Zara. And then, obviously, need a coat. I haven't worn this one yet. It's from Revolve. It's Eve's brand. I think I'm going to do it because it's like more fun night outy. Hopefully, it's warm enough. I mean, I think it will be. I was just in a shacket. This is super warm. And then I'm going to do this bag that I was borrowing from Vivrel, but they were like, okay, it's time to return your bag. Or they didn't say that, but I was like, it's time for me to return my bag probably. And I bought it from them because I just love it so much. I have this in green too. It's the Bottega Jody mini bag. Mini Jody bag. Love it. So this is the fit for the night. Let's go have a date. Let's go on a date. Guys, first date. I'm so nervous. No kidding. But I still get the butterflies. dinner now immediately showered just to warm up put on some pjs i still need to self tan though and started laying stuff out for my trip it's really tough flying to florida and then maine to like florida's like high of 70 and then maine is like high of 39 so packing is really tough ryan offered to take a couple things in his suitcase because he's just going from new york to maine so but i also feel bad but I also am like, I don't know what to do. So I just started laying stuff out that I want to bring. A lot of the stuff is the stuff I bought today. I'm literally so happy this worked out. I love it. But I'm going to see how this all goes in a suitcase. This isn't even everything. This is mainly like stuff for Maine. So yeah, and that's like basic stuff. I don't even have workout wear in here. And I want to get on the Peloton when I get home. Ah. So yeah, I'm going to like start putting this stuff in my suitcase to see how it all goes. I don't leave. I'm not leaving till Friday, but um, tomorrow's Thursday and I have a really busy day. In the morning, I'm volunteering at Bowery Mission and then, and then I have a lot of other stuff to do. And then in the evening, I have two events. One is Free People Friendsgiving, which I'm excited for, and then another one's for Moda Operandi. It's like a club night. I'm literally doing Sober November, so I'm not gonna drink, but it's at that cool club called Palace. And I have a friend that works at Moda and I wanna support her and go, and then I have a flight the next morning. So I'm going to like pack tonight slash tomorrow. But I really, all I want to do, I have become obsessed with The Hills. I started watching The Hills. Never seen it before. I know. I can't believe it. Now watching it, I'm like, wow, this is so my jam. Uh, so I'm starting it from the beginning. It's on Hulu, if anyone's wondering. And so I've been watching it. And all I want to do is sit on my couch right now and watch it. So I think I'm going to take like a little break and drink some water. And like, I literally love just like filling up a huge thing of ice water. Mm. Like, can't you just taste that through the camera? But anyways, I'm going to end this vlog here so I can get it up for you guys this Sunday. I love you guys so much. Get pumped for... Oh, if you didn't enter my Dyson giveaway, that is by following me on TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn and commenting on the TikTok that I have pinned of Ryan and I putting up my Christmas tree. We're just, like, decorating the tree. And comment your favorite thing about the holidays. And if you win... I'll be picking the winner on Monday, December 12th, and I'll follow you and DM you to get your info, and I'll send you your Dyson Air app. And what else? Vlogmas is starting on December 1st, December 1st through the 14th. I will be vlogging every day, so get hyped for that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.